in this session let us go for the multi line option we had skipped this topic over here in your linear elements option the multi line option select the place multi line option and now when you click on this you will be drawing multiple lines that is simultaneously will be able to draw more than one lines which will be at a particular offset from each other i'll click over here and now when i try to draw this i can still see a single line i'll zoom in near that i'll move my cursor towards the center point or the start point of my line and i'll zoom in using my mouse wheel and now when i see this is the multi line okay if i zoom out it appears like a normal straight single line now zoom in and it will appear like the multi line option this is the multi line let us close this for now and using the same multi line option we can okay so i move this now we can draw a multi line over here in this one okay and this is nothing but the multi line right now we have three lines the first one which acts like the construction line is the dotted line so there is the middle one and the two lines above and below it now whenever you are drawing a multi line say i draw it like this now when you want to close this multi line if you close it in this way it won't come properly that is if you click like this you will be getting the multi line like this that is the reason whenever you are trying to close a multi line into a loop go with the option of close element so i'm drawing it like this and over here instead of clicking i'll go with the close element option click on this and your multi line will be closed in this way properly and symmetrically between the lines that is your close element option apart from that you can draw your multi line according to the dimensions as well let me check length and angle options that is i am locking both of them let us have a length of say 100 enter and the angle is 0 now you have this line of length 100 you can keep on placing this line of 100 length wherever you want at an angle of 0 degrees if i want i can change this angle to 90 enter then we can place it over here in this way or here in this way like this suppose i want to change both of them over here i'll go with 250 enter and this is the y this is the vertical line of length 250 and angle 90 degrees in this way we can create a multi line now so far we have only seen how to go with the creation of three lines in the multi line option right now we are getting only three lines if you want to increase or decrease the number of lines over here you have the option of editing your multi line as well for now i'm selecting all of it deleting now let us go to element and in the element we have the multi lines option select multi lines over here in multi lines you have the three lines listed down the first one with a style is at a zero offset that is at the center then the above one is minus 10 one is at minus 10 and the other is at plus 10 offset this offset of plus 10 and minus 10 apart from that you can insert a few more lines over here go with edit option click on insert now you have inserted one more line at the same zero offset distance let us choose a different offset say 20 edit insert one more line at a different offset of minus 20 enter and now you can see the difference there is one line of 0 one of minus 10 minus 20 and i'll change this minus 20 sorry the zero line to 20 it did not get changed previously 20 and in this way so now you have 0 10 20 0 minus 10 and minus 20 close this box select the multi line option and now you can see you are getting four lines sorry five lines by increasing two more lines at an offset of 20 on either sides let us go and uncheck all of this and now when i draw it i'll be getting it in this way 
Now, apart from the creation of your multi line server here, you can also go with the option of coloring or changing all the attributes of those lines. So, the zero line which I have in, this, in the center has currently a style number 7. That is this style. You can change this over here. Instead of 7, I can go with say 3 or I can go with the normal one. That is a 0. I will close this and now when I draw the multi line, I will be getting it like this. The center line is also having the style of 0. Element, multi lines. In this way, I can select a particular thickness that is the weight option. I can go with say 6 for the center line. I can change the color red in this way. I can change level and class which we will be seeing later on. For now, we will use only the attributes options, color, weight and style. For each line, we can have different attributes. Say for this 20, that is the outer loop. I will go with the color option and I will select this color. And minus 20 also, I will go with the color option and select this color. You can see the preview over here. For 10th line, I will go and change the style. Sorry, over here. Select some other style in this way. And minus 10, again select the style in this way. Now close it. And now when I draw the multi line, I will be getting it like this. This is the multi line which we have drawn. You can see the colors, the line types, the line weights, all of those properties have been applied to the multi line. Now come back to your element multi lines option. Over here, Apart from edit insert option, you also have the option to delete a particular multi line. You also have the option of selecting the duplicate option. When you click on duplicate, suppose I have the zero line selected over here, I will go with edit and click on duplicate. I will be getting one more duplicate, that is one more line with the same attributes over here. Select this, set it at an offset distance of some 30. Enter. And now you can see the same line at a particular offset. Let us decrease this weight. It is inconvenient over here in this way. So when you go with the duplicate option, it creates one more line of the same attributes. You can select any line and you can go with the delete option as well. Edit, say delete. Now you have deleted the 20 units line, the line over here. Now, apart from these options, you also have the option of using the place by setting. That is, let us first erase all the objects over here, select all and select hitting delete button. Fit view does not have any effect since it's empty now. Now, over here, I'll go with element, multi lines and I'm deleting all other lines which I had created. Say minus 10, let it be. I'm deleting minus 20. Okay. Now let us change this color to this one. Okay. So now you have these lines. Close it. And you get the multi line like this. Currently, the option selectors is work line. Now over here, I'll select it like this. And when work line option is selected, your cursor will be over here at the zero line itself. Wherever the zero point exists, it will exist over there. If suppose over here, I go with the option of maximum. Now when I try to draw it, I will be getting the cursor on the top of the line. That is your maximum setting. If I select minimum option, I will be getting the cursor at the bottom of the line. That is, you are determining from where or using which point, which line you will be placing that particular line. That is your maximum, minimum and the work line option. The difference between work line and the center option is, suppose first I will select the work line option and over here I will draw a line like this. Now I am currently getting it in the center. I will go back, element, multi lines, I am changing this 0 to 2, enter and close it. Now again draw the multi line. I will be getting it over here in the center itself. This is basically the zero line. Whenever you are 
drawing a multi line the cursor will be placed at the zero offset distance suppose over here element go with multi lines and i'll go over here change all of them so instead of minus 10 i'll keep it to 20 enter and now you have three lines the first one at 2 offset the second at 10 offset and the third at 20 offset close it draw the multi line now and still you are getting this cursor outside of that line that is at a distance of 2 from this bottom line it will always the cursor will always remain at the 0 line it will not move from that that is your work line option your cursor will be placed at the 0 line in this way over here I'll go with element multi lines let us change this two value to some five enter now close this now when I try to draw one more line over here I'll be getting this offset distance increased my cursor is at zero the above line that is the green line is at an offset distance of five from the cursor in this way that is your work line option Whereas, if you go with the center option, it will always calculate the center of the two extremities, that is the maximum and the minimum, and draw the line in this way. You are getting the cursor in the center of the two extremities, that is this green line and this dashed line over here. That is your center option and that is your work line option. Let us stop this session over here.